name's Osgar Dennis, and I'm the Head of Transaction Banking for ANZ in the Americas. ANZ benefits tremendously from being part of the Hyperledger project and the community. Ultimately, by being part of the discussion, as the collaborative development takes shape, ANZ is actually helping ensure that Hyperledger has the best chance of developing into an underlying code base that's fit for enterprise use. That's our ultimate goal, and the benefits extend far beyond a single organisation. In fact, some of the technologies introduced by the Hyperledger project have applications beyond blockchain technology and being used in different parts of the organisation to solve common technical roadblocks. ANZ have used Hyperledger as our code base for a successful Nostro reconciliation proof of concept. While there were some elements of the development that proved challenging in the version 0.6 of the code, we understand a lot of those specific challenges were solved with the release of version 1. The continued investment in Hyperledger and the resolution of real-life problems gives us the confidence that Hyperledger can be a platform for the finance industry in the future. In the near-term perspective, there are also practicalities about being able to leverage the expertise within the community and problem-solve issues as they arise in our proof of concepts. This gives us the ability to move faster and continue to experiment and learn about this new technology to deliver real business value. In addition to exploring the new features of version 1.0, uh, we have two focus areas for distributed ledger technology in 2017. The first of those is expanding the Nostro Reconciliations proof of concept that we completed with Wells Fargo in term of the scope of transactions and the number of participating banks. Right now, we're working on a bilateral relationship we want to involve multilateral relationships. This will help us validate the Hyperledger version one implementation from both a functional and quality of service perspective. Secondly, we want to expand our use cases, which to date have been focused on delivering internal efficiencies to ones that tackle real problems experienced by our customer base. Areas in, or like that include trade guarantees, trade finance, working beyond correspondent banking.